Yo, it wouldn't be right for me to be critical of Dax for not putting out any original content and then he drops original content and then I don't react to it. So, it's Dax. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family. Click the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Now, two or three weeks ago, I made a video as to why I don't do Dax on this channel. And for the most part in that video, I thought that I had a very clear and concise message. There wasn't any hate, there wasn't any bias. It's just I don't like to see the same type of freestyle with the same delivery, with the same just bars on bars on bars just for the sake of bars. I don't like the corny marketing. I don't like the way he handled B for conflict in the past. And I thought that those were all legitimate reasons. But the number one reason for the lack of reactions is because of the fact that it was just freestyles over somebody else's beat with like viral marketing. There was no originality. Every YouTube rapper takes an Eminem beat that just drops and then tries to do their own thing over it like they're gonna do better than them. And it's just uninspiring rap. It doesn't produce any kind of emotion out of me. It's just like, eh, all right. And of course I said that and then he drops this new track right here. And of course I gotta react because some Dax fans were like, yo, his original shit is the shit that has the most views on YouTube. And I'm like, good point, good argument. And because it's a good argument and a good rebuttal to my initial argument, we gotta do the damn thing and react and see what it's about. So there's no more talking, cause we about that action. We got new Dax, original Dax, Book of Revelations. It's got just shy of 800, 900,000 views, number 40 on trending, not music trending, trending worldwide all of YouTube. That's pretty impressive. But that's it, let's just get on into this damn thing. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, at the third earnest, just like the channel, no spaces, links in the description below. And let's get it. Now, one thing I will say before we actually get into the raps is Dax music videos are actually very well produced. They're very well edited. They're very well conceptualized. This obviously has like a Walking Dead type vibe. It has the end of days type vibe. Obviously, Book of Revelations. We're talking about where are you in the final day? Everybody panicking in the streets. We got the little innocent girl skipping along. Like she doesn't even know that the world is ending because she's a little girl. Like even the one take freestyle videos where there's no pauses, there's no edits. It's like, it's just all one take, like it says but the shot location, the set location, the props that are used in the set, it's all, it's all very well conceptualized and the color editing and just like color grading, it's all dope. I've never criticized the videos themselves, but let's keep going and see what we got. Then what? What if it isn't a lie? What if, what if we make it to heaven and don't get inside? What if? What Is this his voice when he's not screaming at me? Oh shit, we switched up the delivery. Okay, see, I've heard like 10 songs from Dax and I didn't even know that this is his normal speaking voice because it's always like fucking yelling at me all the time and I'm like, bro, I get it, chill, kick back. See, at first you have my curiosity, now you have my attention. I'm actually like hyped right now and pumped because he's just using a normal voice. Like this is what I wanted to see. Can you deliver a normal song with a normal voice? I don't want the delivery to try to overpower the lyrics. I want the lyrics to overpower the delivery which it seems like we gonna get. So I'm hyped. Let's keep going. We can rewind a little bit. What if it isn't a lie? What if, what if we make it to heaven and don't get inside? What if, what if we get to the gates and see God on the other side and he looks us in our face and says our whole lives we've wasted time. What if Ooh. we can't go back? <laughs> Yo, he dropping the heavy shit on me. I'm fucking pumped. I like it so far. Like, I actually like it like it. Like, the what ifs is really what religion is about. Like, yeah, we could say that it's like atheists and people that don't believe in religion because of all the shit that goes on, like man-made, the man-made flaws that bring out religion's flaws. Like, yeah, we could say fuck religion, fuck God, the whole thing. But what if it's real? 
that's a serious question. Like, what if we die and there is actually a heaven and when we get up there, we're nervous in line and we get to God and he's like, bro, I gave you 78 years. You wasted your entire, you wasted your whole time on earth. <sighs> that's heavy. He looks us in our face and says our whole lives, we've wasted time. What if we can't go back? What if we can't redo this life and get one second chance? What if our future happiness is memories of our past? While we burn forever haunted by the devil's laughs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Redo this life and get one second chance. What if our future happiness is memories of our past? While we burn forever haunted by the devil's laughs. What if our future happiness is memories of our past? That's a fucking bar. It's like that line in the office when Andy says, I wish there was a way to know that we were in the good old days before we actually left them. When you look back on your past and realize, yo, those were the days. Okay, Dax, I fucking see you, bro. I know you watched my last video because you've been liking all my shit on Instagram or someone on your team is to try to get at me, but there's nothing really to get at. I don't get fucking bothered by that. Your boy got thick skin over here. I'm still fucking blown away by the delivery. I'm still blown away that this is his voice. While we burn forever haunted by the devil's laughs. Why? Why do we push? Hold on, I don't mean to keep pausing. I know y'all motherfuckers don't like that, but is it me or does this little like RV look like Walter White's RV in Breaking Bad? We're haunted by the devil's laughs. Why? Why do we push them away? And why do the ones we work to keep never actually stay? Why do we mm. focus on tomorrow and forget about today and smile in everybody's face and try and act like we're okay? Why do we live this way? Why do we hate? Why do we fight? Why do we act like there's time and got more than one life? Why? Answer me. Why? 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 Yo, he's, he's dropping some fucking truth. This is what I want to hear, Dax. This is what I meant when I said, can he make a hit that's on his own? Fuck the YouTube controversy. Fuck the corniness. Fuck everything about who he is on the external. I'm separating the art from the artist because I know a lot of people you just don't like Dax because of who he is. I'm the person that can separate the art from the artist, and I just want to know if he can make a good original song. And he's doing it so far. This is what I'm talking about right here. Dax, my guy. He's coming out with all these things. Like, why do we put out this facade that everything's happy, that we're okay, that we're living that YOLO life like we got more than one life to live? You might believe in reincarnation, but is it real? Is it not real? We, no one knows. The only way you know is when you die. And unfortunately, you can't just be like, yo, I told those motherfuckers because you're dead. This is substance right here. This is what I like to see. Why? Answer me. Why? 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 I'm older and looking for truth. I'm holding my faith in my hand, but the pain in this world has been shaking it loose. I used Ooh. to have so much to gain. I'm holding the faith in my hand, but this pain in this world is shaking it loose. Like I'm like I'm losing faith, I'm giving up on God, I'm giving up on the Bible, I'm giving up on Christianity. It's a common sentiment that the world is an evil place and if we're all made in the eyes of God, why is the world the way it is? It's like a common thing that I hear from people who are not religious. That's a bar. That's a Christian bar right there, son. I'm older and looking for truth. I'm holding my faith in my hand, but the pain in this world has been shaking it loose. I used to have so much to gain. Now I have so much to lose. They say I'm crazy for looking for answers. I say they crazy for knocking on proof. Vision is blurred. They say I'm crazy looking for answers. I say they crazy for not giving proof. It's a heavy ass song. And you know what I like about this song already? I mean, the only thing that I can compare Dax to is his freestyles. The fact that the freestyles just use like very, very popular songs, very popular beats. It's the same thing that every YouTube rapper does. They take a hot beat, Godzilla, they take Rap God, whatever the fuck, and then they turn it and then they put their own rhymes on top. What I like about this song so far, besides one, the delivery, two, the originality, three, the meaning of the lyrics, but number four is the beat is not like your typical, this is gonna be on the radio, this is gonna get mad plays in the car type beat type beat ha but the beat is simple we're on verse two and there hasn't been any kind of bass drops it's just like yo the beat's gonna be in the back it's gonna give you this little melancholy moody tone and then i'm gonna put these words on top and i need you to pay attention to the words that i'm spitting and the beat is fire because of that it's not that the beat's not good it's just that the beat is subtle so the lyrics can shine and that's that good shit that's that good shit we ain't sure man put the cd on your tongue yeah that's pure man it's Kanye West. I said it crazy for knocking your proof. Vision is blurred. I'm over concerned. I'm looking to God to see if life with him is something I've earned. The devil's been mm. watching. He's trying to recruit. He's been waiting at every turn. I'm driving this life on the highway to hell. But I won't burn. Fuck. You know the Yo, see? 
Okay, okay, let me tell you what's going on in my mind right now. One of the main criticisms I said on last video was that he screams way too fucking much. If you're aggressive all the time, then you're not aggressive. If that's your new norm, then that's just norm. That's not aggression. So right here, when we've been just getting his talking voice the whole time, and then he screams, and that like set me back a little bit, it's because it was an accent on top of the normal tone that he's giving. The normal tone he's giving is like, damn, what if, what if, what if? I'm kind of nervous. I don't know where, where life is going. I don't know where I'm going in this life. And then he gets aggression, like getting mad, like fuck this, fuck no. That's when he lets out that scream. That's that good shit, Dax. This is fucking fire so far. I'm driving this life on the highway to hell, but I won't burn! Fuck! We know the difference. We know what is wrong and we know what is right. But Satan is strong, God, and most of your people are losing the fight. So what if we fail? What if we can't escape his lies? What if we can't change? What if he still controls our minds? Oh, that what fucking production, bro. <laughs> I love when someone is like talking in the voice of like a demonic presence or talking in the voice of sin in this case and the devil in this case. And then in the background, they put that really low demonic voice. That shit. Mm. Love it. He said, we all know the difference between wrong and right, but what if that's not enough? Because the devil is strong as fuck. That's why people give in. So the power in the song comes from the same place and from the same subject matter that Joyner Lucas's devil's work had. The power in the song comes from the fact that you're supposed to always believe in God. You're supposed to always think that he's gonna do right for his children and you're never supposed to question. Here Dax is questioning. And the reason he's questioning and the things that he's bringing up are all valid reasons why you would question. And what's dope about the questioning and what makes it unique in terms of comparing it to devil's work is devil's work is like questioning God directly. Like, why the fuck have you let this happen? Where this is more so like, yo, I'm not questioning you, but I want to know what if all this shit happens? What if everything goes wrong? Are we still going to be let in? That's what makes this song powerful. And that's what makes it different than devil's work. That's what makes it different than Hobson's, I don't know which one it was. Which one was it? Hobson's Ill Mind of Hobson 5 or 6? One of those where he's basically talking to God and questioning and yelling at God. Right now, I would honestly put this up there with those other two tracks. That's how good I'm feeling about this so far. But listen to the demonic voice in the back. What if we can't escape his lies? What if we can't change? What if he still controls our minds? Where do we run? Where do we go? Who do we talk to? We look around and everyone we see is lost to. Oh. What if life is just some Who do we talk to when we look around and everyone that we see is lost to? Bro, that's fucking tight. That's a bar. It's that same expression that says, never take advice from anyone doing worse than you. And if we're all doing our worst, who is there to talk to? That's dope. We look around and everyone we see is lost to. What if life is just some test that we all do? What if, what if you were busy when we called you? Ooh. What if we were busy when we called you? Bro, what if you just look and put that hoe on silent and just like, ah, I'll let it go to voicemail. But I also don't want to double tap and make them realize that I ignored the call. We've all done it. We've all been there. But that's a good line because people say, Father God, I call upon you. I call upon you, God. What if you were busy when we called you? That's deep. And do you hear just like the total like variance of flow so far in this song? We got normal speaking voice. We got mad voice. We got demonic voice down in the background. We got kind of sad voice right here. Like just like the sound of defeat in his voice. That's what I'm talking about. I like that variance. That's what keeps me engaged in the song. What if you were busy when we called? Where are your parents? I'm, I'm tired. Come on, let's go. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I got you. Oh, I didn't see the bone sticking out originally. I got you, I got you, I got you. Ooh, you see that? Ooh. <laughs> I got you, I got you. What if hell's on earth? What if being born is dying and dying's birth? Would that Ugh. mean life's not God's gift? What if being born is dying and dying is birth? Some Benjamin Button bars right there. Whew. What if being born is dying and dying's birth? Would that mean life's not God's gift, but the devil's curse? And to live was to be evil because its words reversed? What if the devil entered a pastor and he led a church? What if to live is to be evil because it's the words reversed? I get that Eminem already said it, but in the context of this song, 
it fucking hits. Especially since we just went on that Benjamin Button bar and said, what if dying is to be born and to be born is dying? And if that's the case, then life is all the devil's work. This is the shit that I like to see. There hasn't been a simile, a metaphor, a wordplay on Tandra's the entire time, and I'm still more engaged than I am when he does the freestyles. Now, I don't wanna discredit his pen game because I said it in the past. I even said it on the video where I was giving criticism. His pen game is elite, but put the pen away and say something that's worth saying. That's a bar. What if the devil entered a pastor and he led a church? What if we looked for the truth but didn't know where to search? Where? What if the books they said to read have never been your words? What if we chose Ooh. to follow you but we still had that urge? Will you forgive us for our sins and let us in your world? He said, what if the books that we chose to read, what if they're not even your words? Because the books that we read, the Bible, the Quran, the whatever Jewish people read, but those books are all man-made. What if we've been living this entire life, following this entire religion, and it's not even what you wanted? That's heavy. The books they said to read have never been your words. What if we chose to follow you, but we still had that urge? Will you forgive us for our sins and let us in your world? God, we at the gates. We couldn't see, hear, and touch you, but we had faith. We know we messed up, we human, and we make mistakes. So we just beg and we get in and that you'll have grace. God, what if we didn't mean it? What if hey, his, his, the tips of his hair color changed because now we're up in heaven. We're up in the clouds. That's dope because it's like we erase the sins and red is the color of evil for the most part and white is the color of innocence and purity that's a good little touch now even though we haven't seen it just based off of what i'm seeing here i can already tell you that the graphics here are gonna like not be up to what i think that they should be up to but then again it's very expensive to have hardcore like solid ass visual effects what if we didn't mean it what if the place we grew up forgot to teach us what if we never even got the chance to go and seek it then what then what? Yo, what he said right there is fucking fire. It's a bar because not everybody grows up. Not everybody has the same privileges in life. Like what if all the sins that I'm committing are because I was put here on this earth, I was put here in poverty and the only way to make it out is to sell drugs. The only way to make it out is to prostitute, to pimp. To, that's the only thing that I know because of the place that quote unquote you God put me I didn't have a choice or a say in the matter So if I fall from the very beginning for all of the devil's temptations, then what that's a good bar And again, he's like questioning God, but he's not like why the fuck have you forsaken me? It's more like all right You put me in this position But if I fail because the position you put me in like what I, I go to hell because of it when really I, I didn't have a fair shot I didn't have a fair shake to begin with it's a good line your family. We're in scary times. Nobody has the answers. Man, that was terrible fucking green screen right there. Look at this. Like, look at around his fingers right here. There's rotoscoping or whatever this is. It's no bueno, son. And I like this focus pool right here. For those of you that don't know, a focus pool is someone who literally, like, that's what they do. They pull focus from one subject to another, especially with shots that have, like, a lot of blurry depth of field but we pull focus from his face and his eyes and we pull focus into his hand because he's reaching out for the Lord. That's tight. Like, just pay attention to what's in focus right here. His face is in Your focus. Hands in times. Time. Nobody has the answers. Just make sure you spread love. You see how his face gets blurrier and blurrier and blurrier? That's dope, because it makes us it makes us focus on the reaching, like he's reaching up for, for God's hand. That's tight. continue okay okay yo that was fire this is what I wanted to see when I said I wanted the boy to win like I believe in his potential I believe that he could rise in the way that he says that he can rise he just needs to put shit out like this like once you do a freestyle or two we get it on that side it's fire we know we know what you can come with we know what you can come with the pen we know the similes and metaphors and double entendres and wordplay and all that shit you got it all down pat. But I don't want to hear an album of 14 tracks of nothing but that same delivery. I want to hear an album with substance. I want to hear an album with subject matter, a conceptually driven song. I want to hear variance in the delivery. I haven't been paying attention to the marketing of this song, but I don't want to see no cheesy ass gimmicky marketing. 
I want the song to be able to stand and shine on its own because at the end of the day, when you're off of YouTube, when you're off a of music video, is this something that I'm gonna wanna listen to in the car? Is this something that I'm gonna wanna revisit? And for this track, the answer is yes. And whether you watching this video can separate the art from the artist and you don't like who he is as a person or you don't like the wrongs that he's done and that didn't correct or whatever, I could give a shit less about that. You feel how you feel, do you, boo? All I'm saying is that in my objective criticism of everything that he did and everything that I criticized on the last video, this track is the complete opposite of it. And this track is exactly what I would wanna see. But yo, that's the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. Helps the algorithm catch it and push it out there. Dax, if you see this video, because I know you saw the last one, or really, I don't know if you saw it. If someone in your team saw it and runs your Instagram, I know that someone saw it. And just know that this is the shit that I like to see. If you're new here and you like what you see and you like the format of the video, it's more long-winded, it's more giving an explanation of what's going on in my mind, analytical feedback, that kind of thing, click subscribe, because this is how we do it on every video. My last Royce the 5'9 video before this was almost 40 minutes of nothing but breaking down bars. Follow your boy on the social medias, links in the description below. Follow the Discord, because the Discord was the one that said, yeah, bro, you should react to Dax, even though you said that you weren't going to because it's an original song. So really the people in the Discord are the reason why this video even exists. But that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. I'll catch everybody in the next video. Peace.